Yeah, um, you know, for me, basically, it started out, um, you know, I started using uh, marijuana and alcohol and, uh, it, you know, experimenting with those drugs. And I remember going to my weed dealer's house and he just, uh, you know, he mentioned, he's like, have you ever tried, you know, pills? And I was like, no, I haven't tried pills. I hadn't really thought about it. And I went back to, you know, my house and looked through my medicine cabinet and there it was, my prescription to, um, uh, I think they were lore tabs. You know, I, I took two of them and sat down and started watching a movie with my wife at the time and there it was, just that euphoric feeling. I quickly went through my prescription and then I started um, stealing pills from, you know, her grandma upstairs. I'd go to friends' houses and, you know, knew that their wife had just, you know, had a baby and I'm like, yeah, I don't even need to go to the bathroom. I'm like, hey guys, I, you know, I need to go to the bathroom real quick. Uh, is that okay? Can I use your restroom? Just with the, per the sole intent of, you know, looking through their cabinets. I started buying OxyContin 80s um, for about, you know, $60 a pill and uh, was, you know, pulling money out of my savings account, um, you know, to uh, try to not have my wife see the, the checking account, you know, discrepancy of money. There came a point where I was, you know, didn't have any pills. Uh, I, I couldn't go get more. I, I went up to my mom's room and found some Ambien and thought, well, maybe this will take the edge off. I started sleepwalking at this party, saying all this kind of crazy stuff. And um, fortunately, it worked as a truth serum uh, for my parents. All I have a recollection of the next morning waking up and, um, you know, my dad's just like, you know, we need to get you help. Um, and, and that was the start of the process to get better. Um, there was a lot of shame and guilt that went along with that, but, you know, my dad was very compassionate and and we started getting into treatment and started trying to get better. There were so, so many times I thought, you know, to myself, I'm going to get better and then I don't and then I continue to use and at the times it felt pretty hopeless. There is hope. There is a way out. There's a, you know, all it takes is, uh, first of all, just admitting that, that you have a problem and then admitting that you can't do it by yourself, that you really need help. And, um, and there's people that will receive you with understanding, love, and compassion. There's a cool community of people who are in recovery that are doing better and that are getting you know, their lives back. They're, get, they're building their relationships back and they're happy. That community is so excited to embrace somebody who wants to change, so.